Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Nazca lines down here. So let's go down here and see what we can find that might correlate with the Lord and what might be shown to us right here that will show how the end of the age will come about. Right here is where the Nazca lines are that everybody has talked about with the different glyphs that are on the ground. The one thing most people have never talked about is these white areas. They only talk about a few different things on here. Now most people have never shown this before, so you're not going to find a reference to it. You're going to have to learn to trust yourself and trust in the Lord Jesus. All these white lines mean something, each and every one. They've never been drawn out before, except for by me on my other video. But we're going to show how this matches the stargates, or the star systems up in the sky. We'll see this big V right here. This is actually representing the horns of Taurus the bull and they're going up to something right there. Let's show how this matches in a star systems. In the sky, if you're in America right now or in the northern hemisphere, you should be able to look to the west after sunset. And this is what you should be able to see. You should be able to see Sirius and then Orion's belt. Now Orion's belt also can be seen as a cube with this little tail hanging down besides building the whole Orion thing. But you have Orion and Sirius, and then you have the Hyades, which is seen as an actual V in the sky. And then you have the Pallades, which is seen as a tiny cup, the leg of the bull that has been torn off and then thrown up here. The theory is that you have to go between the horns of the bull to climb the ladder to heaven. The horns of the bull make the ladder a V. You have to go up the ladder to get in. Right here you have the horns of the bull. Now Jesus Christ is actually right on here. At the base of the ladder as the high priest. It'll take you a little while to see this. And it should. It should take you a little while to be able to figure all this out. You have the spiral right here. And you have Jesus Christ wearing the high priest hat. You don't have to go to a pope or any other priest. You can talk to him alone. There's Jesus Christ right there. It's not easy to see. He's at the base of the ladder to help everybody up. He is in charge. All of that right there. And it should not be easy to see. You're going to bounce on everything on there. If you can hold focus on him, that's going to be pretty good. Otherwise, you would need to go here on yourself or stop this tape and spend 20, 30 minutes or longer. All of that right there. Now, at the top of this side, it goes all the way up to here, to what's seen as Orion right here. This is supposed to be Orion. In one side he holds the antlers or the the horns of the bull. They mean judgment. This side holds the Pallades. That means peace and mercy. Right there. This side shows those spirits. Oh, that's the one farther advanced. You're not ready for that one yet. Let's stick with the Orion figure right here. This is the Orion figure. Peace. And this is actually showing how these entities are going up and down from that V, from the Hyades. This is a Stargate system right here. We're going to show all of that. You can see him right there. And this one to there. There's Jesus. Jesus is building the two sides. One side here. This is the great deception. See how it goes to nowhere? It goes off to nowhere. 
This one shows the mark of the beast too. This is grace and mercy right up to there. And then he takes everybody and there will be the great deception. Forever. See that? Forever. They, they can't get there. They build, 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 build to nothing. This side's built to heaven. And this is where they come down. So let's show some of that. Over here, you can see what ends up being they're building the next race of man or so. But you can see it like this. Jesus sends this little guy up. I haven't finished this little guy here. We're going to leave him alone for a little bit. But right here is the, the mark of the beast. That little thing inside the head is representing the RFID chip. Because they keep showing it's going to be able to whisper to you. If you take your time, you can see the little alien thing right there inside the side of his head. Just like that. Right there. Don't take the mark of the beast. It's a great deception. So we can see here, we have the horns, and we had Jesus right down here. And we can see this path coming up and down. We can see that one side has the snake, and one side has the crocodiles. They show there's a direct distinction between this. I know both of these are reptiles, but they show that these are two different sides, basically, and they are against each other. The crocodiles are against the snakes, and the snakes are against the crocodiles. They show that a lot. You can make your own, apply that as you will for each side, but this is the side that they show them coming down on, right here, the spiritual side. When you get down to here, you can see this. I should put this all right up there. This is all just traced. This is this thing riding this beast. It looks like a jester or a clown. And it's letting the people go up and down. You can see the person here being translated right up that thing, like their soul. He is riding a leopard. And this is supposed to be the giant nuke that ends the, the end of the age, the great betrayal when the man of perdition is revealed. And then after the leopard, you can see the dragon inside there. See the, see the little horn on the dragon, which is the little horn of the new world order coming. That's what it's talked about in the Bible. And as this goes, when that rocket goes and that comes up, this guy is dragged up. That's death in his cowl. See right there? Death. He's being dragged up. All fitting scripture perfectly. Right there. The Revelation 6 earthquake. Jeremiah 50 when the earth is moved. When the, the day of the Lord when you know the sun is... When the day is dark and the moon is as sackcloth. All of that right there. So we can see everything there. The leopard and then the dragon. Death. That little jester. This little guy actually being translated back and forth. Right up there. All of that. Take your time to see it. This is the Nazca lines. All right there. The leopard represents Obama, the man that will um, betray the world, the man of perdition. And then the dragon will come up. All of that right there. You can see here that it's the snake and then the crocodile on one side. If you take your time, you can see the man's face even being translated up there. Just like that. Right there. Crazy or not, it's all right there. you look right here, you can see the face of the man or thing starting to be translated up. 
whatever it is that is coming back and forth. And these are all pipes going down into the earth. You can see him go there, then he gets translated, turns into like a mist. You can see his face right there. I know it's not easy to see, I'm sorry, but there it is. It's all right there. Now we go deeper into it. Crazy or not, this is all just traced, and it's right here. All of that's on there. This is the boat for Jesus to take all the souls out. We leave by nukes. See that nuclear propellant rocket? <clears throat> on the day of when the man of perdition reveals himself, we are gone. Nukes will fly. And the great earthquake of Revelation 6, because this represents the salt and sea area too, which looks as a keyhole. This is the boat for the souls to go. Here's the Holy Ghost putting the sheep in there. There's Jesus, and our sail is like this bull that is also the white rabbit. See the bull on the bottom, and he's riding the bull, and he's, we're out of here. <clears throat> and as we go, this drags up, boom, shh. and remember over here we had the hook that was on death. So you actually have it like this. The boat goes with the earthquake, the leopard has been revealed. Now you have the dragon, just as in the Bible, the little horn of the Bible, and death comes up. Apply scriptures you want. It's all right here. Every single thing. All of that right there. Pretty wild, huh? I think that's pretty cool. Right there. This is a commercial for Priority by Beyonce, and it's showing the jester running the stage right here, making everybody dance for him as puppets. Beyonce and everybody has a blank stare, and the puppet's making everybody dance. There he is right there in the middle. Look at these guys' faces. They even look goofy, man. <laughs> that's pretty messed up. Uh, that's pretty. That looks like a puppet completely. So nobody knows the day or hour. None of us do. The main thing is, Jesus Christ is Lord. All of that is right there, perfect as in Scripture. Right there. Take your time, you'll be able to see all that. It's not meant for everybody to be able to see it. Just as the parables. Not very many people could understand those. Thank you very much, everybody. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath raised him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. So there's Jesus right there at the base of that ladder for us to go up. All you need is him. He's the only way. He's going to put that great deception upon the whole world. Thank you very much, everybody.